Russian chemistry professor named Dmitry Mendeleev was writing a textbook for his students when he began to wonder how he could best explain to them the 63 elements that were known at the time. To help formulate his thoughts, he constructed a card for each element. On each card, he wrote the name of the element, its atomic weight, its typical properties, and its similarities to other elements. He then laid the cards out like a game of solitaire and began arranging them over and over, searching for patterns. Then came the moment of discovery. Before him was something extraordinary. The elements fell into seven vertical groupings. Each periodic grouping had members that resembled one another, both chemically and physically. Mendeleev had discovered the periodic table of the elements, a map showing how all the elements related to one another. A map so precise that Mendeleev believed he could also use it to predict the existence and properties of three elements no one had yet discovered. One would be like boron, he said, one like aluminum, and one like silicon. Eventually, the elements were discovered, and Mendeleev was proven right. There was actually a little bit of controversy because a German chemist named Lothar Meyer had come up with roughly the same idea, but Meyer didn't quite have as much courage. So that's actually an interesting thing. Here is this German who comes up with the same idea of periodicity, of which there were hints already before, but he doesn't make the predictions that Mendeleev does. So here we see the power of a risky prediction in having people accept a theory. There is nothing more powerful than making a prediction that's not obvious. And then have it come true. And have it come true. The periodic table is our icon. I mean, that's what we associate with chemistry. You go into any chemistry room, you see it. Why is the periodic table of elements significant? It forever changed the way that everyone would learn and understand the elements. The periodic table of elements is to chemistry as notes of music are to a Beethoven sonata. Mendeleev, his name is now literally attached to the periodic table. The element 101 was named after him. It's called Mendelevium. It's not only chemists who, who like the periodic table. I hear you carry one around. I do carry one, yes sir. Show me. You never know. And I seem to use it a lot. <sighs> Let's see. It's a small one. So I'm going to give you a test. Uh, what is under nitrogen in the periodic table? Nitrogen is seven. Yes. Well, I have to think a second. Under a sulfur. Nit no, you're wrong. Oh, God. Well, so you're back. one up. It's phosphorus. Oh, it's phosphorus. Up. Phosphorus no, is right. Is phosphorus is 15? Yeah, you have to add eight at that point. Uh, see, that's why I carry it. I can't remember. So it's seven plus eight. Fifteen phosphorus. Okay. There's a pattern there. 